Andrew Lim inviting you to go out on a limb. So we are actually in da, Cabo San Lucas. Actually, no, San Jose del Cabo. I always get these two mixed up, but uh, we're going for their popular art walk, which happens every Thursday night, uh, where the old downtown area comes to life. So come with me, we'll take you on a walk through the popular art walk. Oops. Folks, before we start, kindly hit the subscribe button and the notify button for new contents that upload weekly. Muchas gracias. Folks, if there's ever one night that you have to be in uh, San Jose del Cabo, I would advise that night to be Thursday a night because the Thursday evening art walk is uh, definitely one of the highlights of any visit to San Jose del Cabo. It actually runs from 5 to 9 p.m. I would say, you know, it's way past 9 p.m. Uh, sometimes because of the crowd. Uh, it, it's held during high tourist season, which is from November through June. And you just come here and you can actually interact with the artists and gallery owners in Baja California Sur, uh, admiring their paintings, you know, checking out the sculpture, or even buying them, uh, obviously, because some people do come here and collect art. Uh, but if you are not an uh, ardent art collector and just want to come here and, and soak in the ambience, uh, the, the fest festive uh, evening, this is definitely a place to be because uh, you know, the bars and restaurants come alive on Thursday evening as well, uh, you know, and coupled with the cobblestone street, uh, as well as the old historic town, I mean, this is really the place to be on a Thursday evening in San Jose del Cabo. And the pleasure of the art walk extends beyond just the boundaries of the gallery district. Uh, close by, you find the historic church, as is uh, the main town square, uh, Plaza Maharas. And here, you actually have vendors as well every Thursday evening, where you can buy merchandise, you know, different artwork, although uh, these are more, more mass-produced artwork, I have to say. But really, it's, it's a place to be as well if you are looking for uh, more things to do beyond just the lively art district or, or lively gallery district. And when you're here, uh, there's one food vendor you have to check out, which is the popular churro stand. So I came, you know, back on a night that is not too busy, as you can see, but the churros are here are simply amazing. It's so crispy, uh, it's perfectly uh, sweetened, not too sweet. Uh, it's just, you know, an, an amazing snack, uh, if you ask me. And if that food is not enough for you, there's a taqueria nearby where, you know, they actually sell these amazing uh, roasted pork tacos and they put a slice of uh, pineapple in it. I, I believe it's called uh, Taco El Pastor. Uh, this place is really popular. And in fact, you know, we waited for our tacos to go and we had to wait for about 35 minutes on a regular, you know, weeknight. So uh, this is how busy they are and how many tacos they sell per night. But, but really, uh, the roast pork, perfectly roasted, uh, seasoned uh, pork tacos here is really amazing. I can easily eat five or 10 of them. Well, 10 is too much. But overall, uh, the art walk here in San Jose del Cabo uh, is definitely one of the highlights when you visit uh, San Jose del Cabo. So do not miss it if you are here on a Thursday night.